Yo, I'm Martin and I'm also dumb sometimes. If you're in year 2 going to year 3, don't make these mistakes when choosing your courses and your modules. Cause I certainly did in my second year. So if you need any extra information, they're in the description below. Okay, so what module did I get and what courses am I taking next year? So module. I'm stupid because in my registration, I registered for both physiology and pharmacology for my first and second choice. And that's not something you should do because on the intent to register page that's provided to you in the description, they say that if your first choice is an honor specialization in pharmacology, physiology, physiology, and pharmacology, do not select another of these honor specializations as your second choice. Since these three honor specializations are pulled together, if you're not eligible for one of them, then you're not eligible for all of them. And I didn't read that because I'm dumb. So that's why going into third year, I don't actually have an honor specialization module, but I'm just in a double major in physiology and IMS. Into the interdisciplinary medical sciences. Oops. So given that and my grades, which you can see on the screen here, and my required module courses had an average of 85, I definitely would have made it into IMS as an honor specialization 100% if I put it into my intent to register, but I didn't because I don't read. Well, I do, but like at that point, I didn't even care about school one bit, so I just didn't read it and it's just registered for the same thing unknowingly, which is kind of stupid, but that's just my fault. Because with the minimum average being 75%, you already know I would have gotten into that, but I didn't. So please do your own reading and don't be like me. Also, I didn't make it into any other modules because in my second year, I registered for only a handful of courses that made me eligible for the physiology modules and IMS. That's literally all I was eligible for. So please, with the info that I provided for you down below, just look for whatever courses you need to take in order to be eligible for as many modules as you want, even though it means taking the second organic chemistry or some other courses that you might not want to take initially, but it would open up more choices for you so that you're not like me because I was too lazy because I was like, oh, second organic chemistry, screw that. Microimmunology, screw that. I'm not taking that. Looking back, I probably should have did that. Even though I would have made it to IMS, I screwed myself even further by not reading. <laughs> so am I mad about that? No. Am I disappointed? Not really, but... Am I kind of laughing at myself for being stupid? Yeah, I am. So it's just that type of thing where you just look at yourself and you think, what the hell am I doing? So you might be thinking, well, you can still get into module in fourth year. And yeah, you're correct. Except I might not even be able to do that because I screwed myself again in course registration. And here's how I did that. Not that you should replicate it or anything, but here's how I did it. Okay, so here are the courses that I'm trying to take next year. But then you realize that there are a lot of wait lists. Because when my course enrollment appointment opened, I was thinking, you know what, I'm not even going to go back to school next year. And then I just didn't register until like two weeks later. And I'm like, wait, I should probably go back to school because my attitude towards school changed in which I realized it's not school that I hate, but it's my relationship with grades, as I said in my previous video. So I just decided to register for courses again. And then I realized that the courses that I need to be eligible for next year's modules some of them are full, and that means I might just graduate with double major instead of an honor specialization module, which actually makes no difference, but it just sounds better. You know, humans are kind of stupid sometimes, and they're like, oh yeah, I just want that thing because other people have it, and I, I want to have it too. Honestly, it makes no difference, but it's one of those moments again where I just laugh at myself and was like, yeah, you think it wouldn't get worse than that, but then I just end up screwing up again, which happens all the time. Here are the courses. I'm taking economics, a first year course, because I think it's going to be pretty easy. That's just a placeholder course because I already have all the requirements for future years. Let me skip the waitlisted courses and then just say that I'm also taking a full year pharmacology course, a full year physiology course, and a half year physiology course with that. Because I was originally trying to get into the physiology module, which at first, the 3000 e lab, I was trying to enroll in that, but because I was enrolling late, the spots filled up pretty quickly. And so like the academic counseling people said, oh, you can register in 3990 medical sciences. So you can still fulfill your majors, but because you're not having the 3000 e, you can't register for the physiology module in your year four. So I was like, oh, great. Well, I can still get into the IMS module using this 3990 IMS laboratory course. But then after that, they're like, oh, you have a schedule conflict, so you had to get rid of one course and then tell us to register you in 3990. So I was like, okay. So I dropped that one course and then I tried to enroll in IMS lab. And then they were like, oh, we ran out of spots. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> you think it can't get worse than that? But it just did. So yeah, those are the courses that I'm taking next year. Hopefully, I'm on wait list number two. Hopefully, they open two, exactly two spots so I can get into this lab. But otherwise, I'm graduating with a double major in physiology and IMS. 
not a big deal because I'm still in the program. It's still the same degree. It just sounds a little bit worse to some people, well, including myself. But in the end, who cares? Anyway, that's about it for this video. <laughs> it was pretty unscripted and I was kind of trolling. But yeah, I was trolling in real life too. If you enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe with post notifications on so you can see more videos from me. And don't screw yourself over, guys. Just read and you'll be okay. And also do your work to get the grades necessary. Okay, yeah, that's about it. See ya.